Yo, 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 it's your boy West the Tech here to bring you another one of my personal favorite tech tips to help you as an artist grow in your craft. Now, today we're going to be discussing how to remove vocals from a song for free. All right. So if you're an artist who's looking into removing vocals from a song that's already made, let's say you want to use just the beat of a song or you just or you want to use the vocals of a song then this is the perfect video for you because in this video i'm going to show you exactly how to do that for free the only thing is i am very very concerned and the reason i am concerned and worried about even showing you guys this is because of course you could run into some serious copyright issues when you do things like this when you use material that's already copywritten all right so let's say you take out you know, uh, 50 Cent's vocals out of one of his songs and then you make a new song with that same beat and you try to release that song, that song, first of all, you might not even be able to get it released on your music distribution company. Secondly, if you do, if your distribution company does take it, you might still not be able to get royalties from it due to like YouTube and all these different places for copyright claim issues. And thirdly, and most importantly, you could obviously get sued for using copyrighted material. All right. So that's why I'm kind of worried about showing you guys this. But there are cases that let's say you make a song years ago and you don't have the original files for it and you don't want to re-record it but you want to use the vocals that you had when you first did the song, then you could use this method to get those vocals from that song, even though it's already finished, even though it's already in the MP3 or vice versa. Let's say you already have the beat or you want the beat because you can't find the beat anymore of a song that you did a long time ago. You still have the MP3. You can remove that beat and separate the beat and the vocals so that you could, let's say, re-record that same song on that beat with new vocals, all right? That's really why I'm showing you guys this, but like I said, I'm worried about the other thing because I don't want nobody getting bodied for copyright issues, you feel me? But either way, I'm gonna show y'all how to do this. Please use it to your discretion and be smart about this, all right? But to get right to exactly how to do this, honestly, this is incredibly, incredibly easy to do, all right? This is something that literally takes a few seconds. It's not long at all. And you, the, the way you do it is you essentially go to a vocal remover website, all right? Now, there's tons of different websites that do, do this for you. Some you have to pay for, some that do it for free, all right? I'm actually suggesting the one that's easiest to use, and that's X minus dot pro all right i'm actually gonna leave the link of this website in the descriptions below so you can click on it from the descriptions as well but this website is super super easy it's one of the easiest websites to use when it comes to doing this stuff all right it's pretty straightforward so that's the one that i particularly use all right some have better quality some you know if you pay a little more you get better quality and things like that because this is an ai system based type of thing so it's never perfect it's never a perfect separation between vocals and instrumentation but it gets very very close all right so to jump right into it you know you will go to the website this is exactly how the website looks like as you can see it's extremely extremely basic nothing really extra on here then you would take you know the song that you have the full song that already has the vocals in and beat in it and you will go ahead and just drag and drop it on to where it says you know select the audio track or you could click on it and select it through your files all right but whichever the case once you actually go ahead and put the song on there for me i'm actually going to use breadwinners all right and just throw it on there then it's going to go through a little processing phase all right once it goes through this processing phase it's then going to show you two different audio files all right now what's cool about this is you could actually play it and listen to it so the first audio file right here is going to be just the instrument by itself all right now like i said it's not perfect so you may hear a faint faint sound of your vocals in the background but it's so faint that you could still probably reuse this to make a new song all right then the second one right here this one is actually the vocals that was separated from the instrumentation so the same thing in some cases you could still faintly hear the instrumentation in the vocals but it's it's separated enough for you to be able to use this as well all right so here they are that's how separated they are and all you pretty much have to do from this point is click on which one you want or if you just want both you click on these two little buttons right here 
One is for the audio, one is for the vocals, all right? And once you click on each one of them, it'll literally download to your computer and you will have the files, all right? It's really that simple. It's not complicated at all. It's straight to the point. Very, very simple, all right? So that's pretty much all it takes. Like I told you guys, it's super, super simple to use. There's other websites that do it as well. So if you don't like the quality of what you're getting, you could try another website as well. But I assure you the best quality ones are the ones that you have to pay for, all right? But either way, I'm gonna tell you guys again, beware of trying to use copywritten material, all right? You should only use this if, let's say, maybe you're trying to do a sample, but even samples, you can run into copyright issues. So it could open up a Pandora's box for a lot of issues, but there are those of you who may actually need this for your own song. So that's why I made this video, all right? So if you have any additional questions in regards to this, if you have any questions about how copyright works or anything in regards to the music industry, please feel free to reach out to me, all right? My tag is West the Tag. You could literally reach out to me to any social media platform, all right? And you could also, you know, leave comments in the comment section below. I'll be glad to help you guys out, all right? But either way, I hope this helps. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Follow his place with accent, bows like wool. Buddy, I'ma do my thing. Cream of the crop.